Hey Aries, this is Nikki. I hope that everybody is doing well today. I'm um, sorry that this video is a little bit late. I had to get cap in there. I got some caps that I got mad love for, so I had to throw them in there real quick. Um, we going through this retrograde, and you guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for all y'all, like, for real, for real. And I'm trying my best. I'm trying to keep up. The channel is growing, and, um, you know, it, it just is what it is. But, you know, Aries... I got you, okay? I see what somebody look like you. Look, look like you is causing a little bit of a riff here. I mean, I don't know. It could be. I don't know. I don't know. But we about dig in, okay? So, but before we well, before we get started, let me thank my new subscribers, you guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. By subscribing, only thing that you've done is you've helped contribute to this to, to this channel. And I really want to give my sincere um just let you know how grateful I am for that, okay? Um, for you guys that have not subscribed, um, please accept this invitation now to go ahead and subscribe. C click the like sub button and the not notification bell. I would love to have you. Listen, there are so many incentives going on right now, okay? I can't even go on, okay, y'all? I'm just throwing all kind of stuff out there. I think I done lost my mind with the giveaways, y'all. I ain't even playing. But, um, yeah, crystal wands, crystals, tarot cards, oracle cards, free reads, all that type of stuff, okay? And plus, on top of that, it is the first, coming up the first of the month. And that means that a new winner for, um, uh, is it? Is it, De is it December's winner? Yeah, December's winner will be um, um, will be announced on the community page, okay? So once once um, a month, first of the month, every month, there will be a winner, okay? Listen, for every new 100 subscribers, I'm also selecting somebody to give a free read. Also, whoever gives me the most views during the week, since I only come to you guys once a week, unless it's an emergency, like Capricorn was an emergency today. Um... And then uh, you guys will get, if you give me more, you know, if Aries gives me the most reads, you know, this week, then the following Friday, you guys will get another general read, okay? So, um, yeah, be a, pay attention to those bolos as well, because the bolos also have a little thing I'm doing with them. Whoever gives me more uh, views on the bolos um, that Saturday, um, just comment below on that bolo page, though, on the 12 signs. Comment below who you want me to dig into, okay? And that's what we're going to do. But Aries, let's let's go ahead and get cracking. Okay, I see somebody. Eight of Swords came out, okay? Somebody here um, is full of self-doubt. Somebody is in self-imprison mode, okay? Um, somebody, um, a self-esteem, okay? Um, uh, is, is very affected, okay? Um, their confidence is low, all right? Um, they are in a fog and really cannot see what is really going on for real, for real, okay? Now, Aries, I don't know if this is you or somebody else, okay? I do see Queen of Wands here down at the bottom, which makes me feel like that's you because you are a fire sign, okay? But um, overall energy, okay, is uh, the Eight of Swords, which is air, okay? So where these problems are coming in at, where this self-doubt, where this anxiety, um, this self-imprisonment, um, this, uh, self-doubt, self-esteem problems, confident problems, all that shit. What is coming from is the energy of communication. Okay. Not so much action, but communication words that's being said to somebody. Okay. An argument, arguments, maybe somebody is talking down on somebody. Somebody is not building somebody up. And the reason why that they can't really see um, the situation for what it really is is because maybe um, what they what they have in their mind about this relationship is not necessarily matching up to what they're perceiving someone to say to them or what somebody is actually saying to them. Okay, communication got everything to do with this. Okay, um, and also fighting. Fighting has something to do with it too. Okay, because swords could be that too. All right. But what we have here is we have a situation of a family, okay? We got, this look like a child involved here, okay? This is definitely a lover situation, okay? Um, but it's a family, okay? It's, if it's not a family, it's a baby mama, baby daddy. It's a higher connection, okay? I do see a child here, okay? I do see somebody is, is in hermit mode who is thinking about this lover situation. Looks like somebody does want it to get better, okay? Somebody's trying, 
okay or he's thinking about trying okay but what they're facing is they're facing misfortune okay they're facing loss they're facing getting left out in the cold they're facing ass being out okay now somebody needs to change when it comes down to this here union okay but somebody is reluctant to change all right aries i don't know which one this is you you're gonna have to pick okay also understand cross watcher energy will get involved in all this okay who I see on the board is I see Aries, okay, with this Queen of Wands, I see Aries, Leo Sagittarius, okay, and what Queen of Wands is doing, okay, is first of all being full of passion, okay, being spontaneous, being sexy, thriving, okay, now listen, just because I say queen, that don't mean that it's a, it's a female, okay, it could be a dude, okay, but basically feeling themselves, okay, but what they're doing, what energy they have here right now before we start clarifying is that they're in a planning mode. Okay. As a matter of fact, they're rapidly planning. Okay. Somebody is, this is a contradiction. Okay. Because somebody here, okay, which is either another Aries, uh, Leo Sagittarius, Virgo, heavy Virgo, Capricorn, or uh, Taurus. Okay. Possibly Gemini. What they're doing is, is they're analyzing. They're in hermit mode. Okay. They're, they're, they're wondering what, how, when. Okay. What, how, when. This shit wrong, went wrong. What, how, when can I get this shit right with this individual who I feel is my soulmate, who I feel is my counterpart, who I feel is the person who is I'm in love with or who is in love with me, or this could be them. This could be the person who is in love with you, who you got a child with possibly, who is in hermit mode, which could possibly be a Virgo, okay, and is wondering and, and sitting here thinking and, and like, where did we go wrong, okay? Where did we go wrong? Because I knew it would, a change needed to happen, but why didn't this change happen? So now we're finding ourselves in the five of a coins, okay? Hold on one second. Holy Spirit, let me get an end energy. Holy Spirit, give me an end energy, please, for your sons and your daughters. Aries. Okay, yeah, we got uh, Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, that's your end energy, okay? Nine of Cups upright would, would, would normally be wishes granted, okay? Wishes ain't going to be granted here, okay? Somebody's going to either be settling for last because I don't necessarily see. Well, you do got the five of coins, so that does mean that could mean loss, okay? Yeah, it does mean misfortune, okay? Does mean hardship, okay? Somebody may be having money problems, either you or them, okay? But end result is Nine of Cups in reverse, all right? This is, um, you know, this is empty... Uh, promises okay basically okay and um, it just is um this is somebody that is refusing reluctant to change okay regarding this lover situation looks to me like it's this virgo okay or uh this earth sign here who feels a very strong bond and their passion is very unite um very lit for the other individual okay um to the point to where it's almost like they can't let this go some kind of how. And this bond is a little bit too intense, all right? Um, this is the lover's card, okay? That is a major arcana. That does signify, um, you know, a divine union, but it also signifies choices. But the choice here that the lovers is de defined by is a choice of wanting to get better, wanting to learn, wanting to, um, wanting to spice things up per se, okay, because, you know, as I'm feeling this, all right, what I'm feeling on a sexual level here is that somebody is not satisfying somebody sexually, okay, yeah, because somebody here has a lack of confidence, okay, about themselves sexually, somebody here, this Queen of Wands is ready to get it popping, boom, okay, they're ready to experiment, they're ready to do all kinds of shit, okay, but we got somebody else in this energy who um, is full of self-doubt about this, okay? They want to uh, spark a flame, okay, in this here situation, in this lover situation, okay? They want to spice things up, okay? But they're learning. They don't know how, okay? Just, it feels like a virgin uh, type of, you know, you know how like when virgins really don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this Queen of Wands is like, I don't need you to be a virgin, sis. I don't need you to be a virgin, bro. I need you to be a freak, okay? That's what I need you to be, okay? And it's just it's just not happening. It's not happening, okay? So um, let me go ahead and start clarifying. Aries, 
you guys, I hope that you guys let me make sure my deck is up, you know, upright, y'all, because I don't want no upside down cards coming out without it meaning to be. But anyway, I hope that you guys are doing well. And um, you guys be careful for this Mercury retrograde. We are in the thick of it. Clarification on the something about We are in the thick of it. Miscommunication. Losing your keys, losing your purse, losing your wallet. Okay. Devices tripping for no reason. And when I say devices, phone, laptop, computer, tablet, okay, car, you know what I'm saying? Anything to do with travel, anything to do with communication, how you receive, how you perceive communication. Text messages could be taken wrong, all that type of stuff, okay? Yeah, and plus on top of that, today, yesterday, because today is Friday. So yesterday we got an Aries moon. We might still be in an Aries moon, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? You know what that means. You know what I'm saying? Emotions and, yeah, anger and you know how y'all Aries be. Okay, let's look up underneath this deck, okay? See what's going on here. Somebody's lost in the past. We definitely do got a Virgo, uh, a Capricorn, or a Taurus that's lost in the past. Somebody let go. Somebody fell from, somebody fell from grace. Somebody is accepting this past trauma, okay? Somebody is being patient. Somebody had too much of excessive expectations in the tower was hit. There was a need of transition, which brings me back to the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? All right, let's go ahead and start clarifying. Holy Spirit, give me four wands for your sons and your daughters, Aries, and for your glory. Fights. When it comes down to this relationship, this baby mama, baby daddy, marriage, whatever the case may be, soulmate, fights. Okay? Headache. Somebody got a fucking headache. Okay? Arguments, disagreements, aggressiveness. Y'all might have put each other, hands on each other. Okay? Might be domestic uh, violence here. Okay? But headaches. Agree, not, not being on the same page. Not agreeing. Okay? Being disappointed. Cassie, legal issues. This could be divorce, okay? This could be divorce. This could be karma. This is justice here, okay? So that could be divorce, all right? Give me um the Six of Swords because somebody was reluctant to change. Somebody could be taking somebody to court. Somebody could have a court case going on, okay? This is the law, all right? Taking accountability, legal troubles, all right? Somebody is digging into this information, all right, somebody might be a little bit younger than somebody here, okay, but because it is reluctant to change, somebody definitely is curious on why they're finding out information about somebody here. There we go, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, back on the scene. We might got a pregnancy involved here, okay? You may be finding out somebody's pregnant. Somebody might be finding out they're pregnant. This is somebody who is nurturing, possibly pregnant, or it may be a pregnancy up and around you. This person wants a home. This person was in a third party. They got their heart broke, okay? So regarding this marriage, this reunion, Whatever the case may be, connection, baby mama, baby daddy, somebody might be pregnant here. Somebody might have got somebody pregnant here, okay? This could be um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, okay? This situation, because of all this fighting and shit and this third party, could have ended up in, in, in some type of legal situation. If it was fighting going on, if it was domestic abuse or whatever, somebody might have called the police on somebody and somebody got arrested behind this shit. Or somebody was married and got a, is getting a divorce, okay? This Eight of Swords, is, this, this third party got somebody feeling like, you know what I'm saying? They're not worthy, okay? Give me the hermit, Holy Spirit. Somebody thinking about something. It's a lot of shit that went on here already. Your glory. Yeah, because the end result is the Nine of Cups in reverse. Some of the wishes is definitely not empty promises is what that shit is. 
Yeah, see what they're thinking about is burdens. They're thinking about somebody's thinking about these burdens. Somebody's thinking about being stressed the fuck out, the frustration that they're going through, the negativity of the next individual. They're tired, they're worn out. Somebody is complaining or somebody can't stop complaining. There's hardship. Somebody needs some help. There ain't no hope. That's what they're fucking thinking about. They're contemplating this about this here lover situation, this four of wands, about this marriage situation, okay? They might even be burdened and stressed out and worn out behind legal issues. They may be burnt out, stressed out, and burdened and worn, worn down by this third party or being pregnant. Give me more Holy Spirit on this hermit. That's what they're thinking about, how burdened they are, how frustrating. Like... They were just ready to get over the shit. Damn, you got the hermit again. They're in a deep thought. Okay, so let me take time because anytime a card um, defines another card, clarifies another card, that means that that energy is very, very strong. Okay, so they are in deep reflection, deep thought, almost like it's taking over them. All right, and what they're thinking about is all of these burdens what they've been through, okay? This disappointment, this frustration, this stress, this negativity, that's all that they're thinking, negative thoughts, this complaining, this hardship. They're thinking about something that got something to do with legal issues, some type of court, okay? Maybe karma. They're thinking about the arguments. They're thinking about this love that y'all had, this family, baby mama, baby daddy, child involved, okay? What what once was. They're thinking about the, dis the, the disagreements and disputes, the aggressions, the, the inability to compromise or trying to compromise. What can I do to compromise type shit? You know what I'm saying? They're thinking about how they don't feel good about themselves no more. They're thinking about how their self-esteem is affected. They're thinking about this third party. If they're pregnant or if somebody got somebody pregnant, they're thinking about this pregnancy. They're also thinking about this home because there is other kids here, okay? They're thinking about this divine union that they thought that they had. And they're also thinking about this misfortune and loss, all right? Money is not good. Okay, somebody money ain't good. Holy Spirit, give me the five of um no, you know what I want? I want this lover's card. Maybe they're thinking about how they should have spiced things up in the relationship more. Or maybe somebody should have been more patient and didn't want, didn't try to put that on somebody like that. You know, I want you to be a freak type shit. You know what I'm saying? Completion. They're thinking about how this shit is over. Give me more. person might like to travel a lot somebody does here it's the end of the cycle thinking about this closure but it hurts they're in the nine of swords they're full of anxiety still negativity still negative thoughts they're in despair they're at a breaking point when it got to do with this divine connection they want to talk but they can't talk they cry a lot okay five of coins because of the betrayal because of the third party okay this is the reason why the misfortune in the loss okay might it could be a std too because i do see third party okay so you know hey when ten of swords come out with that i've all i always say std okay um but left for dead killed pain pain on top of pain alone loss out of time Worst it can get. They're in pain. Somebody's in pain here. Okay? Somebody is hurting like fuck. Because it is lost. Give me more. Holy Spirit. This misfortune. They're trying to manifest somebody. See, they're sitting in this nine of swords. They're wondering. They're in pain. But they don't want to let this go. Give me more. Yeah, they're trying to manifest an opportunity to make this shit work. Okay, remember I told you? They're like, where could I have compromised? You see what I'm saying? 
And one in this nine of swords, this is deep thought, okay? Just wondering how the hell I can make this work. Can it work? But you got the nine to ten. I don't see the tower. I don't see the tower. Give me the um give me the, the uh queen of um uh, wands. Planning on see this is a marriage. This is a marriage, okay? This fire sign is rapidly planning something to do with They realized they were procrastinating. They realized they didn't give what they were supposed to give. They realized that they maybe pushed the envelope a little bit too far, okay? But what this Queen of Wands is doing, if this is you, Aries, you're thinking about this marriage. You're thinking about this sacred union. You're thinking about this soulmate. You're thinking about how compatible y'all was, this friendship and this love. So see, both of y'all, both of y'all is thinking, okay? Except the other one, whoever the one in the Nine of Swords, is, this is a little bit harder for them. Or this could be somebody else. This could be the third party that they feel like they got the two of cups with, that they really got love with, okay? And this is the reason why this divine connection here did not work. It came to an end. And maybe somebody is in a nine of swords because somebody moved on and through this third party is what they truly found love with. Maybe, okay? Give me more, Holy Spirit, for y'all sons and your daughters. And always for your glory. Yeah, they're thinking. Somebody is planning. Somebody is thinking. Somebody is thinking about leaving their comfort zone. They're thinking about the bad planning. They're analyzing. They're planning. Somebody looking at somebody's social media here. Or somebody just want to run away. There you go. You on the board here. So you could be dealing with another Aries or a Taurus. Somebody is thinking and planning. Somebody's older than somebody here. Somebody's more stable. Somebody does definitely have authority. They're dependable. Okay, so, but this is the person that's in the self-doubt. So, whoever, whoever, hold on, Aries, hold on. Okay. If this is you, you're the one that's in the self-doubt. You're the one that is having self-esteem issues. You're the one that's self-imprisoned. Seem, seem like you're some type of bondage that can't break free. Okay? All because of this marriage. All because of this commitment. With either another Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay? With this person, there has been much conflict, much aggression. My, like I said, maybe even y'all done put each, hands on each other, okay? Justice is here. So legal matters is happening or karma is spinning the block. Now, there's a Virgo here. Somebody must have had a third part. Take out, take what resonates, y'all. Somebody had a third party with a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus that literally fucked this union up, okay, with this here fire sign. This Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn... Is heartbroken. But she's not. Or he's not the only person that's heartbroken here. 
okay? This Queen of Wands is also heartbroken. This, this Emperor is full of self-doubt because there has been some betrayal here. Somebody is in analyzation mode with a whole lot of burdens, maybe because they made a mistake. Because I got four of wands and the lovers. These are divine unions. These are soulmates. And so is two of cups. There may be a pregnancy here that was outside of this marriage or outside of this union. Okay? And they ain't getting rid of the baby. So regarding this lover situation, who wants things to get better, there's something complete here. There was a breakup here. Or information was found out and put somebody in a nine of swords, okay? The main person, okay? This right here, this third party situation caused misfortune and loss. Somebody ass was in the cold. Somebody was hurt. Somebody was betrayed, backstabbed because of this third party situation. This is severe anguish, pain. But somebody is trying to manifest a new opportunity. Okay, we're going to dig into that. And the reason why the hermit is here twice is because somebody fucked up bad, real bad, with this third party. Something happened. Somebody caught an STD. Somebody got somebody pregnant. Somebody fucked up real bad and hurt the person that they fucking love. Real bad. Almost to the point to where there ain't no coming back from this. Okay? So, let me... Hold on. Yeah, because see, that was a whole plot twist right there. Hold on. Let me... Misfortune to the swords. Give me give me some more of this ten of swords. Give me some more of this ten of swords, Holy Spirit. Please. For your sons and your daughters. There we go with the six of swords again. But now it's upright. So somebody know whoever was reluctant to change in this, because of all this bullshit that went on. This third party, possible pregnancy, possible STD, possibly losing the wife or the husband with this here a justice card or the karma. See, now they are willing to change. They know they need to change. They want to lead a past in the past. Don't know if that's going to happen. Somebody is trying to manifest this new opportunity with somebody here. This, whoever this person is. Whoever the main motherfucker is, okay? There's a two of cups here. There's a four of wands here. And there's a lover's card here. This is a divine connection. This is a marriage. This is baby mama, baby dad. This is long-term long commitment, okay? Somebody moved too fucking quick here. Looks like a fire sign to me, okay? Look like their needs wasn't being met the way they wanted to be. And they fucked around and put this person that they love in the third party. Something happened. Something bad happened. A pregnancy, a STD, or something. Give me this nine of swords, Holy Spirit. They know it came to light. It came to light. They know the whole story. Somebody is going to know the whole story if they don't. Give me more. This shit hurts. It hurt them. They do want a new beginning. They will want one. Okay? They will want one. Whoever is the one that's hurt. Give me more. Look like they're kind of blaming themselves a little bit too. No, they want more. They want to try it. But here we go again with the five with the with the five of pentacles. 
We got two five of pentacles. This is two losses here. This is two more. This is misfortune. Somebody asses out. Your end result is not a cups in reverse. This right here is a hard breakup right here. Somebody done fucked up big time. It ain't no coming back from this shit. Don't look like it. Tell me about this emperor, Holy Spirit. Why is he in self-doubt? And it ain't nothing moving. It ain't nothing moving. This could be somebody who went to jail too. I mean, I mean, you got you do got justice on the board. You do got five. You got justice in fighting and shit. And then you got the hangman with the eight of swords. I mean, that could be jail. Okay. That could be domestic dispute with this here baby mama, baby daddy marriage situation. Okay. Give me more. So they love some they, these two people love. Okay. But see, this is the problem right here. Somebody abandoned somebody for this third party. Somebody walked away. Somebody left. Somebody thought the grass was greener. Okay? Give me more. One more. Aries. Your sons, your daughters. And they know it. They got clarity about this. I see regret. Give me, I want to know about this third party. Give me, give me more about the third party, Holy Spirit, please. Aries, your son, your daughter. Yep. Lies, alibis, strategically planning, tricky, faking, phony, deceit, thief. Yeah, they lied about this shit. They snuck off to do this shit. Give me justice, Holy Spirit. This is ugly, Aries. Got everything to do with this Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So a marriage is coming to an end. Somebody going to jail. Somebody's pregnant. Karma is happening because of this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Give me more. Yep. Yep. Ho. So whoever was in love here, who was in this fighting and, and beefing and carrying on, who is divorcing or taking somebody to court for fighting, whoever is the one that got somebody pregnant here was being a hoe in this relationship, okay? Give me the, 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 the nine of pentacles upside down, please, Holy Spirit, for your sons and your daughters. This is sad, Aries. It's a lot of mess. Lots. Somebody willing to some this is this is fucked up. Cause you got the nine up. Somebody wants this to be better. Somebody wants this to turn around. You got the nine of cups upside down, then you got it upright. Somebody want does not want to lose this. This is comfort and comfortability. Somebody had options. Somebody had distractions. But they're choosing. Give me more, Holy Spirit. What are they choosing? They're not a swords in this thing. They're moving fast to something. What? What is it? What is it? Family. They want their family back. Okay? Somebody want their family back. Somebody got pregnant. Somebody cheated. Third party. Some shit. Okay? Aries. That's what went on. Okay? 
So, um, with that being said, you know, this is fucked up right here. But somebody ass is out. Somebody ass is in the cold. It could be jail here, okay? Domestic disputes, okay? But this definitely is a husband, a wife, a higher commitment, a baby mama. But somebody got a serious ass fucking bond, man. You got the four of wands, the lovers, and the got dang on two of cups, y'all. That's real love. That's real love that somebody made a real fucked up mistake about, okay? Somebody got somebody pregnant here. Or somebody got pregnant and somebody lied, cheated, snuck off, tricked, and some more shit to have this um this third party here. Okay? But they regret it. But they was reluctant to change. And where they was reluctant to change, now they're willing to change because they want this family. They want this ten of coins. The reason why is because, yeah, this is a soapmate. This is they this is this is their person. They got a family with them. There is stability here. Will they get it? It don't look like it to me. Okay, but that's what they want. You got two dang on um Holy Spirit. What's the outcome? Aries. What is she doing? Empress is upside down, y'all. Somebody willing to do whatever the hell it takes. They're willing to do whatever to get this family back. Give me more. Somebody is not working with some information here. Somebody is even willing to tell lies about this pregnancy, about this person, about this earth sign. Fast. They, they talking fast. Okay. They want it to happen. They regret this pregnancy. If this is a pregnancy, they regret it. Okay. Or they, if it's not a pregnancy, they still fucked around. It's a third party. Okay. You get yourself checked out. If this is you, because this is STD, possibly, okay? Because you got two damn five of, of pentacles here with a goddamn on third party. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Anytime you got misfortune and loss and hardship, okay, with a third party, I mean, that could be sexually transmitted disease when you're dealing with, you know, a hoe, okay? So, I'm just saying. So, Aries, this is what I have for you. You guys, I love you. You guys like, share, and subscribe. And remember, every new 100 subscribers, somebody will get a free read. If you give me the most views during the week, you guys will get an extra read. Pay attention to the bolos, you guys. That is coming up. I'm going to be doing that in a few hours because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning here, you guys. Um, but I'm going to be doing that in a few hours. So, um, yeah, it's last week bolos that will be getting um, me to dig into the sign a little bit more um, next this Friday. Okay, so that's, I think it's Aquarius, okay? So if you guys give me the most views on the 12 signs and you want to dig more into this person, go ahead and, and give me the most views and, and put down in the comments on those bolos um, what sign you're interested in me digging more into, okay? Um, but right now, this is a lot of earth on this board, okay? This is a lot of Virgo, a lot of Taurus, a lot of Capricorn, lots, okay? And it is a whole hell of a lot of Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, okay? And you got some air. Some air could be here too, okay? All right? Yeah, some air could be here too, which is Aquarius, which is Libra, and which is Gemini, okay? So with that being said, Aries, I love you guys. And um, you guys, um, I will see you soon. Sorry for this video being late, but I had to throw Capricorn an extra video, okay? So with that being said, you guys comment below. Because um, my other signs comment, when they let me know they're going through it, boy, I will throw an extra video up in there, okay? It's nothing, I told you, much looking out, okay? Sometimes I'll be having to rearrange the schedule to help my um, my subscribers. I love all my subscribers, y'all. Shoot. Y'all know I'm loyal. Shoot. I look out, boo. I love y'all too, though. So that's why I'm up at 4 o'clock in the damn morning, okay? Anyway, y'all, be easy. I love y'all, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye, Aries.